Hi there, I'm Allie Elliott. Hi, I'm Allie Elliott. Welcome to my stream today. It's going to be kind of short um, because I've got places to be. But thank you for being here for now. And um, I'm going to work on the picture in front of you, <laughs> as you might have guessed. Um, so I'm going to turn this down actually a little bit so I can hear myself think. Um, but this is super straight out of the camera. And i um, just going to do a real typical edit. Um, I'm actually going to, I don't like the light being behind her. Obviously that we were really close to the backdrop. So that spill kind of needed to happen. Um, but I'm going to start with just kind of setting up this crop a little differently. I want her, whoops, I'm not quite that far. I want her at the intersection, I think. And maybe, here we go. Um, let's also see what we can do to grab some more backdrop out of that. Um, and I'm just going to grab a fair chunk of that. this more um, complicated than it needs to be. Duplicate this. And this is just super basic. So I like the bottom to have a little more meat, a little bigger um, pattern. Okay. So I'll merge these and duplicate and then hide. I'm gonna duplicate this one too. I just like to have a good backup. Oops, erasing the wrong thing. There we go. So what I want to do is she's got, you can see the original, there's the darker, I'm pointing at it, like you can see that, on the darker camera left and the lighter camera right, which is behind her. So I don't want to draw attention away from um, the front of her. So I'm going to see what I can do. Oh, we've got some birds. Um, so, oh, Monster Truck is home. This music is very loud. I don't like it but it's a lot of birds titled in fact birds okay I don't want to lose her beautiful texture in her hair so I'll have to be careful to color back behind her appropriately so that we can maintain the texture and then I want this whole thing to be taken down to match see there it's kind of showing itself let's see what we do so 
we'll have to piece this individually. And there's a little bit of a color shift. The light is different, obviously. So I just want to bring that yellow back in. It's just a little warmer. Um, and then go so I'm going to warm that up too because where the light hits and doesn't hit gives you a definite shift wasn't recording, but it seems like it records anyway, whether it specifically hit that or not. <laughs> so I hope that is right. So there you go. Clean that up a little bit. Merge those. And then merge those. And duplicate. Okay, so let's start with our regular treatment that I like to do. I'm gonna unsharp. What did I title this today? Do we have a topic? Okay, so we'll hang on to that. And then I'm gonna duplicate again so that when I'm taking the noise down, if I get, if I lose any texture, we can bring it back. Cause I wanna hang on to her freckles. I wanna preserve details. Um, I definitely wanna bring her Duplicate. Okay, I'm going to give her some nice directional light. So first things first here is get a dark that is off her face and then go way down to a little less than 50. And I am avoiding the highlights across her shoulders specifically. And then I'll go a little bit smaller. And then merge those and duplicate. And then we'll go in here for some detail work. So I don't want to lose the texture, but I want to bring out um, her freckles a little bit too. So we'll just do real minimal cleanup. She's obviously, you know, young and gorgeous, with beautiful skin. And this side lighting, I, I'll tell you, I don't, there's a reason my self portraits don't have side lighting. <laughs> but she is stunning and makes it easy. And we can go in and work on these highlights and lowlights, maybe bring out some of the sparkle in her earring and some of the depth. And I wanna make sure that you can see her haircut too, this highlight along here, and really show that off. So 
So I'm gonna duplicate here and do a little dodge and burn. The highlights on her face, I have, um, whoops, wrong one. These are older pictures. No, why do I keep grabbing the wrong one? So I would shoot these a little differently now. I still love the picture. All right, nothing is clipped. Yep, and there are little blowouts, but nothing that we can't fix. Um, the first thing I wanna do though is Before I do that, actually, let's go back to the original and see if that's blown. It looks like it is. Oh, not too bad, actually. So that's been done in my treatment. So that is important to note. <laughs> okay, so we can bring that back pretty easily. I like it deeper like that though, I do. So we're gonna just keep working with that. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. This is a little much. And since it's just that little kind of almost rim lighting, it's not obviously rim lighting, don't get riled up. Everybody just settle down. <laughs> but it's definitely, um, think I'll leave it alone because I like the difference in her face versus um, her, like her collarbone and the highlights there it's a beautiful gradient that's natural let's just see how not bad at all not bad at all all right I think we're good then on that so far I'm torn on whether or not I want this as a black and white or a color. I always think I'm going to want a black and white and then heavily prefer new follower. Thank you. I am an author, um, an author. <laughs> so I have a book of photographs published, but I have written two books and um, don't look at my nails, <laughs> but I've written two books and, uh, but I'm unpublished as far as not, one's a novel and one's nonfiction. But stay tuned, by the end of the year, I will have more information on that. <laughs> so it's wishful thinking. But welcome to the stream. What's everybody up to tonight? Okay, so our highlights look fresh and good. Um, so the novel is actually, it's technically fiction because I'm using first person language, but it is about my grandmother and her sisters and all the red hot messes that they got themselves into, three girls. And then the nonfiction book is on grief and it's um, on the world watching you grieve. So it's good stuff. I hope. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if it's good stuff or not. Um, but I'm just going to deepen these shadows a little bit. Real, that's actually super high. I usually have it around nine. And 
And I'm actually gonna leave the texture, whoops, the texture of her skin alone for right now because I, I don't mind it at all. I think there's a lot of over smoothing happening today and I'm okay with skin having texture. Um, how old was my grandmother? So my grandmother and grandfather were both Marines in World War II and that's how they met, which is, I'm really proud of. I think that's super cool. And then, um, so that was kind of when they had their heyday and she wasn't technically my biological grandmother, but she raised my mother and, um, my mother's biological mother was her sister. So she was technically my great aunt. Okay, so it looks like we have lost a lot of the color in her eyes. So we're just gonna like touch that up just a tiny bit. Like two. Just kind of grab some of the color there and give her give her eyes some definition. So that's part of what the book is, is just um how it turned out that my great aunt raised my mother. All right. So I don't want to change her eye color, but that large soft box really washed out her eye color. So I want to give her some of that depth back. And then We'll get it down to a little bitty and then we can dodge this just a bit. Make sure we hold on to the smile. It might go a little bigger. might pop a little color back into her lips too because that soft box was close and it kind of hmm so let's see what color is in there now I'll just take the saturation Okay, so she's got nice red. I think I'll leave that alone actually. Give her a little touch of saturation. Maybe we'll colorize and get it even more red. Maybe like a purpley red. We'll go down to this far end. And then we're obviously gonna race back. That's what my lipstick looks like when I put it on the car <laughs> while it's moving. Whoop, that's the stylus for this. Nope, and we need to be. Got a nice spring storm. I love a spring storm.
Oops, I might have gone a little overboard there. Definitely have to erase this back some too. And follow the outline of her lips. <laughs> That's helpful. Okay. Let's check out the eye. There we go. And just give her a little merge those and duplicate. And then we don't need that. So you can kind of see where we came from to where we're at. And then I'm going to get in there and burn. Just kind of eyebrow by eyebrow here. Nope. I was like, why isn't that showing up? That's weird. That's why. Still not showing up much. Okay, let's do, um, I'll tell you what, let's do one pixel. that get that one out of here it's where we started that's where we're at so far okay so I want to make sure that we can hang on to the texture of her hair I love the texture of her hair and I love her haircut the kind of shaved down sides and you can't really see it so I want to bring that out more let's see so you can see it like that so we might just do this kind of the simple way those and duplicate and then I'm gonna go in and dodge first kind of a big sweeping dodge just along right where we already were And 
just so it kind of draws your attention there. And then go a little bitty again. Then I'm going to zoom in there and burn because I want to show off those beautiful lashes. Here we go. So hey, that's that. Um, Pretty quick, simple edit, uh, but she's obviously stunning. This was from a few years ago. Gorgeous. All right, so I'm going to flatten that and save it. And then, you know what, I might actually just um, let's see what we think of this in black and white just for fun. So I'll make sure that my samples, my swatches there are black and white. And then I like a gradient map. I feel like it's a little bit richer. Honestly, I, I kind of love that. Thank you. Do I want to bring any texture back into these blacks? No, I kind of don't. I'm kind of in love with this as it is. Let's see here. Hmm. What was I going to do? Oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot for a second. All right. Check for blowouts and clips, nothing. I actually think I might like the black and white better in this one. Original, black and white. That shows off her hair a little bit better, but we will see what Instagram thinks. Instagram is the end all and be all of art. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see what we think. Um, Actually, let's do this. I keep forgetting what I'm doing. So we had, um, hey, LB. I had some cat drama yesterday. Spent eight hours in the emergency animal hospital. I forget what I'm doing right now. Um, because my cat, we're new to the cat world and she decided to barf and like, I know that's what cats are known for, but then when it's your kid's cat, freak out a little bit and you spend a massive amount of time and money <laughs> in the pet ER and, um, where is that? There it is. It, just to find out she's fine. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's do a square crop for Instagram. I don't, what if I don't want to? What if I don't want to, Instagram? So I'm very tired today and not making all my sentence is complete <laughs> so you'll have to forgive me but the cat is fine now and that's all I ask <clears throat> so 
What's everybody else up to today? Which one? Let's see. You know what? I'm going to pop that on Instagram right now and see um, if by the end of the stream we have a decided winner. That'll be exciting. Definitely like the black and white. I do too, and I don't normally... Um, okay, I'm going to have to crop this differently. Let's see. Um, I don't, normally I prefer color. Let's, um, not flatten this, maybe. My gosh, I'm so tired. Here, let's just, no, that's not gonna help. I can't, <laughs> I can't do math today. Oh, flamingo. Black and white flamingo. Um, okay, let's do it like this. Hmm, wait, before I flatten it, I don't wanna flatten it yet. <clears throat> oh my gosh, why can't I? <laughs> there we go. We'll just have to give them equal opportunity. It's not equal at all, but whatever. I'm about to give up. I'm very tired. No. Is this the flamingo? Ooh. Ooh, I like the flamingo. I like that, like, my brain processes it by seeing the pink anyway. Yeah, I do feel like her hair, um, her hair doesn't, you can't see as much of the cool cut as you can in the um, black and white. I mean, as you can in the color. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't get a lot of sleep. I didn't. And we're getting storms. So I feel like that makes me sleepier. Here, what if? I think you need the detail. The black and white brings me right to her face, which is perfect. I almost never like the black and white, almost never. And I can't wrap my head around a square right now. I need coffee. Oh, I kind of like this music. I'm gonna... By the way, thank you for the um, Pretzel Rocks recommendation because that is... Oh, I like that flamingo. Here's... I'm going to share your flamingo on my screen. Here's flamingo number two. Everybody can vote. <laughs> Everybody's gonna vote on low base guys flamingos. Okay, where's the first one? I do prefer this guy. It's the eye contact for me. This one is a little more intimate. And this one's got eye contact. I'm a sucker for eye contact. No matter what. I thought there was some setting in Instagram where you didn't have to have a square. Did we move past that? Is that not? <sighs> Why do I do this? I've got other stuff to work on. I really do. Today would have been my daughter's birthday. And so I want to finish that kind of hybrid thing that I was doing. Oh, 
Ooh, okay, what if I did this? Let's do this. Oh my gosh, not that. Sweet Marie, okay. You guys, I'm losing it here. You know what? Clear this out. No, that won't make it. I need it. Hmm. <gasps> New follower, you guys. Thank you so much. You're making my day. As I figure out what a square is. <laughs> I promise. I'm usually... You know what? I can't. I can't promise that, that I'm usually anything. Mmm, forgot what I was doing. So how was everybody's weekend? Did you also spend it at the cat hospital? I will say this though, that is like the most depressing place in the whole wide world. That was horrible. We're split 50-50 on black and white or color. It's neck and neck. You can have four or five for vertically cropped photos. Ooh, so I assume the air show was a no-go. No Blue Angels on Saturday. Which, I don't even remember Saturday. What even happened? What was the weather like? This music's gonna put me. If I go to sleep on stream, you guys just keep, you just keep <laughs> chatting until I wake up. Black and white. I can say this. I hate hashtags. I said it. I'm not good at them. That's a bummer about the air show. I'm sorry about that. It's frustrating. Pretty awesome reptile hospital. What is... I didn't know that existed, to be honest. Like a zoo? <laughs> I would imagine those are important. Although I could hear, I was right by the front desk and I had 80 hours to kill. So I heard a lot of stories. And I, at one time she said, we don't accept something. I only saw, there was one other cat and there were mostly dogs. The color one in 80 and the black and white in 85. Don't say that or I will <laughs> pull my case out. <laughs> Serpentarium. I've never heard of that. I'm Googling it. I mean, I can, I can assume. Oh. Okay, I've got to skip whatever this is. Hmm. Oh, serpent hair. Okay, in which snakes are kept. Ooh. I know you love snakes, but this time of year you probably do like just a state park even. Okay, I want to, um, so I need to work on this and this. And I've also got these that I'm gonna do kind of, I think this one, I'll do kind of a fine art piece. So this one would never fly in competition because I broke the plane of her cheek with her nose line. And that would make them mad. And I do like the possibilities here. Just ignore all the sensor dust. 
pretend you don't see it. I like the one with her arm not clipped better. All right, so I'm gonna kind of um, go back and forth between these. Um, and I also decided to change what I'm doing with this one because I'm going to like it a lot better. So what'd you get? What'd you have to show us from the snakes? Because I will admit to their beauty, but they need to be on the other side of the glass for me. Fair enough. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do with this. Nope, not that. Nope. Right layer would help. Okay. erase this back. Actually, I'm going to grab this. Hmm. And then I'm going to put a new layer on top so I can do show up. Oh, I bet it was underneath. Huh. Okay. That is so light. I'm going to have to do a lighter. Find a reference here. That's one of the things that I'm just like not, <laughs> not that great at is the key words that I need to find a reference to look how I want it to look. Okay, so let's go, I'll grab a much lighter color so that I can see what I'm doing. I can't actually see anything. could probably just use my own kits from this very <laughs> shoot. first oh what competition you 
just said my my keyword. Can choose up to four, but never enter more than two. You don't fill out your case. Throw something in there. Oh yeah, okay, that's the one you've talked about before, isn't it? Leave them wanting more. <laughs> I always second guess myself and feel like, what if the next one is the one that they want to love the most? And it never is. I know that, like, theoretically. But. This song sounds like another song. Well, but then what if it's not? What if it's the one after that? You see? I spent a lot of time in my artistic life second guessing myself. My two best, and they like it or they don't, but best is subjective, right? pictures on holding her hands in a very natural way. Let me see, what are my daughter's hands doing? It helps not tie the worth of your art or yourself as an artist to the opinions of judges, knowing that it's subjective, should I mean? Yeah, and it is, and I'm, definitely past the point in my career where I, um, you know, get worked up really about it, but I want to win. <laughs> like I've been outgrown that. <laughs> the, the, I was a competition judge. So the bar isn't super high. You know, it is though. It really is. Don't short change yourself because that's tough. I almost, I had it up. I, you know how, I don't, maybe other people don't do this, but I always leave like, whoops. I always leave a whole bunch of tabs open for stuff that's like critical that I need to address at some point in my life. And I had a tab open for a long time about taking a judge workshop, a judging workshop for, it was either in April or May, or April or March. It's past now, but, so, I, so I'm not gonna do that this year. But I know once I start, it'll be one of those things I wish I had just gone ahead and done sooner. Oops, got a little ham there. It really isn't. It was stupid easy to get into. You just have to look like you know what you're talking about, even if you don't, and be really pompous about it. Well, that I could handle. I don't know. I I like competing more than I think I like judging. Because I really love competing. Especially, it's... 
maybe easier now that I don't have such a strong visceral reaction to it because I definitely had moments, you know, that I, were probably dramatic. <laughs> if my husband were here, he would have something to say about that, but I've had dramatic moments. But I'm definitely past that. I want to win, but whoops. I, would, <laughs> I think I would like judging, but I like winning more than I like judging, maybe. I think so. Not that I win every time, or I win. I actually probably really haven't technically won ever with, um, you know, like a big one. Oh, that's what's going on. Here's tiny T-Rex arms. Nope. Oh, give her biceps. I do think I would like it. I've done little bitty like local type judging but like not really See if my proportions are even like getting where I want them to be. You know what? I was going to merge those, but I don't want to yet because I want to keep that behind. Mm, let's do this. something on there that was like retro video game music so if I'm ever gonna get my kids to watch me <laughs> this is my moment video game thing One, a couple of my kids played basketball last year and we were at a tournament and there were like games going on you know probably seven or eight games going on and um, they started playing I think it was the Mario theme song every single coach in that entire place like lost the attention of their players for however long that was on. playing because I don't listen to music while I'm streaming. I had to get used to not having like sing-along music that I knew while I edit. That's probably the hardest part of streaming for me.
gosh. It's only 5.30. I'm so, so tired. small. I just got quiet for a long time. Sorry. Or maybe you're glad. I don't know. What was that? <gasps> New follower! Yay! Thank you! You guys are making my day. I appreciate it. First time chat. It's been a three hour stint. Oh, very cool. Well, I don't know what WonderCon is though. You'll have to explain that to me. What is it? in case that's not painfully obvious. I'm learning my way around. Welcome, welcome. Are you a streamer as well, I assume? Is everybody is everybody a streamer that's on there? No, I don't want to actually know. I'm going with probably. Pop culture convention in Anaheim. Oh, cool. Okay, I do know what a cosplayer is. <laughs> I've got you. I've got you there. I'm good there. That's cool though. I love Anaheim. Was that at the convention center there? That's probably my favorite convention center. Very cool. My kids are, um, or I guess were before COVID shut everything down, ranked Pokemon players. Oh, yeah, that would be far and expensive from the UK. I hope it was worthwhile. Is Anaheim good to you? I thought it was a long way for me and I'm just coming from Indiana. 1500 pictures to work through. That's good. That's a good day's work. this little scrap down here. This is some moody music now. 
So what was the best cosplay that you saw? Am I saying that right? That sounds weird when you say it out loud. Three days. What was three days? Did I ask a question? I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Do you want to know which child is my favorite? <laughs> Just kidding. Because <laughs> at least a few of them are probably listening right now. This sounds like, um, this is a band that does... Oh, I cannot think of it. Fun. I love a good Darth Talon cosplay, mainly because 99% of them are terrible. But off the top of my head, Weapon X breaking out of the diorama. I could Google. My kids are going to be like, Mom, it's embarrassing. Why don't you know? I might recognize them. I'm going to look it up. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I do know that. That would be hard. I have a friend that is a very talented body painter, and it's incredible. Oh, I feel like both of those would be really hard. I always get big plans for costumes because my kids did. My oldest did like a cosplay thing. And I had big plans for it. He's much better at it than I am. I always think I'm gonna get myself together, get my life together for it. Nope, I don't. Is that, I assume there's some of that on Twitch. Like the costume making and stuff, that would be fascinating. Is there, um, there's gotta be a way to combine those and have like, um, Gosh, this sounds like my old roommates. <laughs> I actually don't mind it. I'm going to look that up after this because I think that's pretty cool. Let's see. Top three here. One, two, three. Let's see here. 
you're in cosplay, then your photography job is taken. Oh, fo posing for other photographers. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I can see that. You've got to make a decision. So this is just the start of some kind of playing around in memory of my oldest daughter that would be 15 today, that would be turning 15 today. Just kind of, I did a whole um, traveling exhibition over the past four years and it opened last year. So I'm kind of, that's always, that's been my outlet uh, for remembrance art for five years now. And so I'm just trying to find some new ground to work on here. So eventually it will be a hybrid of digital and um, oil. So I'll print this on um, stripped canvas and then paint over top of it. I'm gonna go ahead and combine these, it just might be easier. No, I don't wanna duplicate layers, goodness. Now I wanna duplicate layer. Tide. Am I saying that right? I just want to call you Ted. <laughs> Maybe Ted works too. Glad to have you. No, not Ted. What's wrong with Ted? directional light. that work okay everyone says ram affair you know I will say I did not expect my name to mess people up but it does pretty much every time I get usually people just call me Elliot. Mm 
<laughs> Leave Ted out of this. see it. Love a good competition short list. I'll live vicariously. Okay, can I share it? Can everybody see? Whoops, because here it comes. I'll hide it until you say this. Okay. Do you have titles? I like it. Oh, I like that one better. I like that one a lot. <clears throat> Photographically, yes. But also, ooh. <laughs> oh, what is that? feel like it's a girl. I feel like she's got eyelashes. I like it. I'm on board. Oh, that's beautiful color though. Oh, is this a gecko? I didn't recognize it outside of, like, oh, I don't even know what that is. I assume that's this one though. That color is gorgeous. And is that dew? If that's dew, then this is, You've got to do four. You can't just do two. Good catch lights, too. Hey there, guy. Look at that clarity. I like it. Yes, and this, we saw her already. That's also a girl. <laughs> okay. I'm going to show you my favorites. One two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So you have the top six. Hmm. Definitely, definitely this one. And I, I'm fully aware you did not ask for my opinion, <laughs> but here we are. Definitely this one. Definitely this one. Definitely this one. this one too. I'd like to see more in the water, but those are beautiful. Well done. Oh, okay. There's words. Um, oh, oh, the lizard. Python. Oh, it's a python. Mm, green tree python. If you knew the aggressive frequency. <laughs> Yes. Very good. You cannot just do two of those are the ones you're gonna do just two of. That's not no, you can't do that. right
<laughs> hey, nobody has to justify their rates around here. Nobody will pay you more than you tell them you're worth. You can quote my professor on that. Because that's where I got that from. Two plastic buttons. Ooh, fancy suit. <laughs> that is a uh, bartering of the future. Do a little hatch mark work. rounded cheek my there it is my little hand back Ooh, okay I'm really suspicious of and tend to not get along with anybody especially educators and streamers who set themselves up as someone to follow or as an authority any artistic subject because most anybody can do or at least learn to do what they do. Very little of it is truly difficult yet. Whoops, where'd it go? Yet the people that do it want you to believe it's to protect their ego and their bank account. Well, that feels personal. <laughs> um, but I don't think anybody, I mean, I don't think anybody sells it as 
particularly hard to do? Or why would they be trying to teach you or help you learn? You know, if it were something impossible to pass along. I don't know. I can't speak for anybody but me. And I'm winging it. I think you got to be kind of brave to do it live. And even to take, you know, to, to take your stuff on the road and be willing to answer questions and to go out on a limb and... It's all just different perspectives. what I said. What did you say? Maybe I did. Oh, just got crazy swirlies. Oops. It's like... I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna save this. And then, head over here. Okay, so this is obviously gonna have a 
fair share of, I wanna do kind of an unusual, I'm just gonna do a, her eyes on the third. We're right, just skimming it though so that there's still room up top. So first I gotta clean up my tremendous amount of sensor dust. Right there on the crease of her arm naturally. Nope. And then this was a, a gown that's adjustable, so I've got to clean up how it's kind of hanging on her um, because that's not fitted to her shape at all. Take these strong okay some people validate themselves by being better than others at something having others be in awe of them also some people only care about education to the extent they can profit from it those are two separate things, but they're often closely linked because people are most likely to pay for a big ego to teach them because art is so subjective. All that's left to respond to is confidence. It's interesting. If people realize that a lot of what these people do is combination of natural talent, which can't be learned, and techniques which can be learned easily, they'll be less likely to worship these people and also less likely to pay them $600 or more for a workshop, both kills both issues. I don't know. Um, I mean, I do a lot of teaching, <laughs> so maybe I'm not the person to speak on this, but um, I get so much out of those. I learn as much from um, from teaching as I hope that people that come to my workshops learn. You know, that's the whole reason that we're all there. But I'm sure ego's involved to a certain extent because it's involved in everything. That is, does not look like her natural shape either. This is a maternity gown that I had clipped and then the clip came loose. So, adjust that. I do like it flipped and now I don't know that I like the um, I do a lot of teaching too I love that energy that comes from oh see now I'm not going to like my crop we'll just put her dead center then I don't know. I mean, I teach because, I don't know. I think there's always a certain extent of wondering why you're up there. <laughs> I think everybody else that I know that teaches kind of feels like that. But for a lot of people, it's just a matter of feeling like you're giving back because somebody taught you. And the energy that you get from going to um, imaging, or honest, to be honest with you, imaging is the only photography conference that I've gone to. And I've only gone to it uh, virtually once. And in person, really just once. Thank you for stopping in. Have a good night. I really appreciate it. Um, I've only, actually, I've been to imaging twice technically, plus the virtual one, which doesn't really count. 
and the first time was to accept my master's so um, I didn't get there in time to do like the trade show or anything like that but especially it depends on where you are of course um, in your photography I don't know career I really hate the term journey because it's so overused but I guess that's what it is um, but I think the earlier on you are uh, the more you get out of it because there's so much to learn I want to maintain her freckles so I want to erase back where um, this is gonna kind of destroy that clarity That is, I, that's why I really want photography to, you know, and I think it is to a certain extent, but I would like to take it to the crowd that I'm already within and bring people onto Twitch and people are so hesitant to, you know, try something new. Wait. What about the buttons? No, it's the twi it's Twitch being new that keeps them out. I'm working on it. And I kind of get that too. Like it took me a long time to even get on Instagram. <laughs> yes it is. Don't you argue with me. <laughs> okay, what is it? It's that they don't see the profit in Twitch. Well, I think there's a huge group of people that aren't worried about that. They're they're wanting to take in as much as they can and there there's too much on YouTube. And there's so, like and I'm not saying I'm not boring, because I know that can be boring, but the stuff that I've come across on YouTube is like excruciating. It's not everybody. I'm sure I'm just in the wrong place, but shoo. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Because I want, let's see, let's do this. Photography doesn't even have its own category in Twitch. I don't know, to be honest. I believe you, <laughs> but I am still like, I have it written down here, like how to log in, <laughs> like how to get started. So I believe you, but I don't know. It takes being a contributing community member to be truly effective on Twitch and most formal educators just want to show up and be paid. If Twitch viewers get the sense you're only there to sell to them, your channel will fail. Photography in general, especially post-production, is boring. I mean, I'm a photography nerd, so <laughs> I don't think it is, but... Um, like I get really excited about stuff, so I it's hard. I don't know. I think I'm a hard person to bore, but it's been done. Specifically to watch, yeah. Oh, photography tag, but no category. Okay. 
Yes, thank you. I agree with that. And that's why I think the interaction is so... That's the best part about Twitch because it's it's not just like, no, I'm going to change the color. Like, I do that too. And sometimes I just completely forget that I'm on, on here and stop talking altogether. But that's because I normally don't have anybody talking to me. So thank you guys. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, for sure. That's why I usually sing. Which, I can make that happen. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't do that to you. I did have a Whitney Houston solo in seventh grade. That was not a good idea. Somebody didn't think that through. She has beautiful highlights on her face here. I get bored with the sheer time spent. So I only get bored like when I have to do volume work, when it's like in the month of between April and May, I will photograph 4,000 little league baseball players and soccer players and that is an that's a lot so that that is i get bored with myself i like helping where i can if people turn their backs on me because i'm low income can't afford hundreds of dollars to pay them to teach me i belong to enough paid online communities where just a few prominent members get all the attention and are just toxic to everyone else. I wonder if we were on the same board. Just, I don't want to talk to broke kids in their parents' basement. This is how I communicate with my own kids and they are in the basement. <laughs> Both work, yes. It's not. It's, it's a little soul sucking. But um, I'm also grateful for it because, especially in the beginning, I was like, that's a lot of money. Well, and I don't know that, you know, they're, it's hard to get people on a new platform that, they've, that they're not on. You're a cute little dimple. I was going to say something else and I forgot. This makes me so happy to have people in the chat. You guys made my day. I get to a point like when if I have a lot of work at this during the same and it's a lot of the same like if I have a whole bunch of newborns at the same time or a whole bunch of one-year-olds at the same time then I kind of I try it every single session to do something I've never done and I, I think I always have I think every I don't think I've ever missed a session where I haven't tried something completely new but that can't carry you for the whole entire session and not be just a little tired and kind of like, well. <laughs> it was done, sir. I, like, somebody just randomly saying, sir, makes my day. So, it's been a good day. I didn't know what Twitch was. I don't play video games, so it's not even on my radar. And photography is barely on Twitch's radar. Over the last few years, I've been stepping back from the organizations I've been a part of. It's exactly why I do what I do on Twitch with my stream and this community. I'm not an expert. My ego is not big. I just want to help people like me that the industry looks down on or doesn't care about. And what if that kid in his parents' basement is the next Ansel Adams and they just need a little help? 
how many people feel alone because of the way they're treated by formal educators and experts. Well, I like to consider myself an expert. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I am a formal educator, but I would say most of the people in my workshops are, I don't think I have a big ego. I certainly don't on Twitch because I'm like a grandma on here. I knew about Twitch because of my kids. Like I said, my kids were art. They would still be. Um, they were ranked Pokemon players. And so I was connected to the this community that way, but I didn't think there was any photography on it. And I actually had a hard time finding it at all. <laughs> but I think this would be, this is such a cool way to interact and have people be able to ask questions. And I'm actually like, I do a lot of speaking through PPA, through affiliates and guilds. And I've, offered for free to have you know their guilds come to twitch and i could do and then we could have interaction back and forth and um a way for them to connect and see me and um so far nobody has taken me up on it but i think that would be such a cool way uh to have photographers talk to people outside of ppa because ppa is a set I mean, you could have some PPA and some not, but it, it's certainly, once you get into like the 12 elements and all that stuff and you kind of get zoned in on that, then you step away from anything outside that. There's a whole world out there. I could also start singing now. singing and quoting movies. That's going to be my new Twitch stream. Actually, that's this Twitch stream. Most of the movies are um, obscure enough that people just think I'm talking, but it's a quote. Oh, rundown. Okay, so um, I am one of the snobs. <laughs> low base guys talking about um, so I have my undergrad degrees in I have one in fine arts and one in marketing and then I have a master's degree from professional photographers of America and a craftsman degree and CPP and it is just an organization of industry I'd say industry leaders I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble for that <laughs> I know it's, I, I'm very self-conscious <laughs> and I just realized, I bet I'm, am I doing this on, okay, I was afraid that, um, so I've been a professional photographer for 15 years and um, I have a little studio and I do a lot of uh, workshops and educational opportunities all over the country and I just absolutely love it and I'm a brand new twitch newborn fresh in my learning and I'm not very good at it yet but I'm trying boom poppers that might actually be, that might be a cross. <laughs> a little bit of everybody. Um, and what else? I'm drawing a blank. I spent a lot of time at the cat hospital this weekend. I'm normally much more coherent, but not today. Hmm. That might be a little much. I might be went a little ham on the old highlights there. There we go. Oh, I've got a lot to catch up on. Oh, look at everybody talking. 
<laughs> that makes my day. My niece is, speaking of interesting that I think you're talking about me, my niece is doing us like a psychology test in college and she was sitting there at <laughs> Christmas like taking notes and like you'd say something to her and she would just like take notes. <laughs> it's, it's very nerve wracking. I'm anxious for my diagnosis. All right. So I'm going to grab some of this. Maybe just add some texture in there. Yes, she is. And um, I think that my the rest of my family gave her enough ammo that I'm not going to be in this round, but it's coming. And I was teasing her about it. I was like, oh, so you've got like diagnosis for everybody. And she's like, does that make you nervous? Yes, it does. So. I don't know if I want to keep the dark or not. <laughs> I don't think I want to keep the dark. Maybe I do. Do I? I don't know. Whoops. a psychology degree <laughs> yes I just had one psychology class in college and I was like I can see this being a huge asset chat welcome it's been an exciting night everybody's here for the dance music bachelor's in social work and psychology massive introvert <laughs> it's very do you like being an introvert I feel like I have one friend in particular that talks about it all the time. So it makes it feel like it's like popular. I don't know. Maybe she just wants people to know that. So we'll leave her alone. <laughs> I, Cause I am. And I saw one of my friends say that like, quiet people, when people point out that they're being quiet, that makes them uncomfortable. <laughs> I had no idea because I probably do that all the time. No, not that.
Never understood being uncomfortable with silence. It's better than talking for no reason. Other make noise. I'm not uncomfortable with silence. Silence. Science, yes. <laughs> silence, no. I'm okay either way. I'm honestly pretty easygoing most of the time. I'll wait. I'll wait for somebody in my house to disagree with that. people sometimes so people will either continue to talk or think my silence is some sort of admission of guilt <laughs> I can see that being used as a weapon for sure I'm an introvert that's exceptionally adept in social situations but takes a ton of energy we are all different. I don't really know what I am. I don't know that I'm either. I'm a nothing introvert. <laughs> what is that? We're, okay, psychologists. I'm not telling people they're dumb. And now I'm nervous. <laughs> what is that edge? Where is that? Oh no! Okay, all right, personality test. Oh, what if it, what if I score a zero? <laughs> My friends say I'm super smart, but in reality, I just think the people around here are super dumb. Okay, fair enough. Uh-oh. No way. My mom saved my IQ test results, so. <laughs> I'm gonna take her word for it. She's a very wise lady. Legend has it there was a girl in my high school that only got her name right on her SATs. I don't know if it's true or not, but it was believable. I wonder what happened to her. <laughs> it's probably been a rough go if that were true. lurking for a while stuff to handle thank you 
Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I hope the affiliate grind is going smoothly for you. Took an IQ test, but didn't know if my score was good or not until much later, when I, which I think invalidates the score. Didn't apply. I think a lot of people do that in high school. Just don't apply yourself. Figuring out, figured out some of that in college. Yeah, I think I homeschool my kids, and I think that some of them would have been totally fine in school, other than like hating it. But and some of them just absolutely thrived in a different environment that you can't create you know in school so now we can have that different environment hmm. Let me play with this a little bit One guy that boasted about his IQ asked me if I knew what mine was, and I said, yeah, and then I told him it's irrelevant. He didn't comprehend anything I said. <laughs> we went to a kid's birthday party one time at a co-worker's of mine house, and her husband was asked our SAT scores when we walked in. I was super proud of mine. And he was like, it was 10 points below his, and he was like, still the smartest person in the room. I was like, okay, congratulations. Maybe work on those social skills. <laughs> hmm. Try to do 25 image stack. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> No, I think there you need a good balance. Which would you pick? IQ or social skills? Street sense. I'm gonna get, do kind of a radial. social skills but a balance yeah balance is key it feels like if you had a high IQ you should be able to decipher ew, I don't like that contrast social skills that feels like that would go hand in hand but I know it doesn't I'm gonna check Instagram and see if we have opinions on black and white or color. I don't have very many people on Instagram, so probably not. <laughs> nope. Neck and neck still. <laughs> Social skills will get you further in life than being super smart. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I agree with that. With IQ, IQs. Mm -hmm. It 
It's that I don't, it's that I can't tell, but rather I don't feel obligated to. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for voting. today and it is see that was one of those times where I forget <laughs> forget what I'm doing every day just to function. Yeah, that's deep. A massive issue with authority figures. I think it depends for me on the, the very specific authority figure. Oh shoot, I should have done that one. I like that one better. But I did skip the plane of her. usually tied to merit. I do agree with that. I feel like I'm peeking in on somebody's private conversation <laughs> and then adding my two thoughts. I'm sure you wondered. coach what sport are you a player or a coach yourself no I am just being nosy you guys don't mind right Authority is often tied to position and expected regardless of action. That's where I take issue. I found that authority figures abuse their power, just don't utilize it well. goes for like almost any career that 
there are a certain set of people that are in it for the right reasons and they work really hard in the right way. And then there are always people that are there in a way that devalues the position. If that makes sense. Man, this, we're getting into some deep territory. I was going to talk the other day about what if dogs had human hands. Oh, I've got real questions. <laughs> Who and what are your influences photography wise? <laughs> the hard hitting questions. Um, you know, <laughs> I, do, I don't honestly have that many. <laughs> I'm more heavily influenced from painters, like classical painters, and even sculptors. I don't, I kind of keep my head down photography wise. So, my phone is going nuts all of a sudden. I don't even really, follow a lot of photographers, certainly nobody recent. Who are you? What kind of photography do you do? What if dogs had you hands? <laughs> they do. I see my dog smells like tortilla chips, always. What is that about? We were just sitting there, we have a puggle and like randomly wondered the other day, like, what if he did? He could, he could hold his weight. He could carry his weight a little more around this house. He could make me a coffee. Although my son pointed out he could hold a gun, <laughs> he could hold knives. You know, there are downsides too. I mean, okay, I'll say this as far as photography because I feel like I owe you a real answer. <laughs> I went to art school thinking that I would eventually go on to major in historic preservation slash architecture because I wanted to work on historic homes and nobody had that as a major. So I did fine arts and really found my place and I opened my studio as um, an oil portrait studio. So that is part of the reason that my influences are more out of painting than they are photography. Ooh, influenced by fashion. Yes. As I'm wearing like a sweatshirt, <laughs> very into fashion. This is just not a good, <laughs> I'm actually, I love looking at fashion, but I'm not fashionable at all. I'm in Indiana, so. I'll just leave that alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I'm not. I'm not a good photographer. I'm an, a photography educator. <laughs> you don't have to be. I'm alive and my cat doesn't have thumbs. I feel that. My cat is so mad at me because I let them take her temperature. We all know how they do that. She won't even look at me. I went out and bought her new treats. <laughs> Please love me again. And she was like, no. Sorry. I'm 
abrupt end to that song. I know. Well, you know what? That's not the first time I felt judged tonight. Uh oh, see? There there I am pointing out. Quiet people being quiet. Quiet people doing what quiet people do. I would also like to know why Gwen Stefani hasn't aged ever. Her hands still look like she posted like her hand on Instagram the other day. It's ridiculous. But I have nothing meaningful to say. <laughs> she must. I mean, that's what it takes. Okay, that elbow is getting a little meaty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
yeah. I will admit, I had Twitch on the other day, and the other night, and I fell asleep. So somebody got a whole lot of viewing time from me. So. All right, I'm wrapping it up for the evening. Is there anybody that we can raid? I love a good raid. I'm so grateful for everybody coming in tonight and chatting it up. And for viewers, seven whole viewers right now, you guys made my day. going to bed early. I'm going to try to hang out though and catch some other people streaming if anybody is going to stream tonight. Um, and then I'll keep working on this. I'll be back on Wednesday. I hope you guys stop by again, but I'll be around watching some other streams and answering life's deepest questions. <laughs> Have a good night. Thank you. Um, let me see. I'm going to duck on here and see if anybody's live in um, the Discord thing. I don't see anybody right now, but I'm also not 100% sure I know that I'm looking in the right place. So I'll just wrap it up for tonight. Thank you guys so much. Have an amazing evening, and I hope I'll see you guys back here on Wednesday, and I'll catch your streams um, between now and then. Follow me here and please follow me on YouTube. I have a dismally sad YouTube situation happening and I'm also new there. So take some pity on me and um, hit me up and I will follow you back. Thank you guys. Have an awesome evening. Bye. That's why I do my mommy. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.